Friends, so uh, this is the first video. I'm building an open DTG model, which is an open direct to garment printer. So it's based on an Epson P600. And so the first step is to unpack the Epson P600 and set it up for normal paper printing. And um, after that, I'm gonna tear it down and prep it for uh, printing on garments. And then I'm gonna assemble the base. So there'll be several videos in this series. If you want more information about this, you can go to opendtg.com. That's open, D is in direct, T is in two, G is in garment.com. And um, you'll find more information there. Um, you can, find a variety of sources on you know the steps and the materials online but if you want step-by-step -step instructions it's really not very expensive to either patronize uh, Andy who uh, is kind of the core founder of OpenDTG or to buy boards from him um, you know you can get access full access to his forms for just $20 and um, it's just not that much so like all Epson products, this one is packed really, really well. So we've got some kind of a kit there. Not quite sure. I think this is a CD printing tray. One um, roll media device. There should be a separate one, a second one here, but I don't know where it's at. So let's just set this to the side for a second and see what we've got. So we've got a full set of cartridges. It's almost kind of a shame. I wish there was a way to avoid what I'm about to do to these, but basically I'm going to put them in, I'm going to print a couple pieces of paper, and then I'm going to take them out, and that's the end of them. So there's a power cord, an instruction manual, um, some drivers and a set of ink cartridges in a nice little tray. Now, um, it's kind of interesting, Epson, and then there's a whole crap ton of blue tape on here. And, and so if you're going to build an open DTG printer, you need to get rid of all this blue tape. So don't, don't, uh, you know, just, just strip all this tape out of here. So open these up, pull every bit of this packing tape out. All right, so I've changed things around a little bit and I've zoomed in so you guys can see what I'm up to. Um, basically, I'm at the stage where I've selected my language on the printer and now what I need to do is to um, install my ink cartridges. So I'm gonna free my ink cartridges one at a time. They are vacuum sealed. These are pretty decent sized and it says shake it four or five times. Remove only the yellow tape. So that lets air in. And then the chip side goes in and that's MK. So that's one. I'm gonna put the yellow cartridge in and it's kind of interesting. There's only one yellow, but there are two magentas, two cyans, two grays, and two blacks. Okay, so now it's going to go through the ink initialization process and, and it does not want the door open while it does this. So at this point we just wait 10 minutes, so I'm going to shut the camera off and I'll come back to this in 10 minutes when it's done. Okay, so I finished the initializing and let's see. So. I'm going to print a status sheet. Here it goes. So it's just going to go ahead and load a piece of paper and print on it. And it should just spit it out the bottom here.
Okay. So we've got a nice little configuration sheet we've printed here and uh, that validates that the printer can print. So now we need to go in and Let's see, Wi-Fi network. Okay, so it's been a couple weeks since I've worked on this. So um, I just got back into Houston. Uh, Hurricane Harvey happened and it screwed up my travel plans and I was trapped out of the city. Um, that's the least of my worries. There's so many people who've been horribly affected by the storm who lost their homes and their cars. And my heart really goes out to those folks. So. What I'm going to do in this portion of this video is finish the setup of this printer. So the printer's up, it's running, it's primed. Now what I need to do is make sure it communicates with the computer and that I can print something. I had some trouble with the ethernet jack on the back of it, it just didn't work properly. So what we're going to do now is I've just brought a laptop out to it, I'm going to fire it up, make sure I can print something, and then um, I'll be happy. So we're gonna print a test page and we'll see what happens. So it pops up some crap that tells me about the um, ink levels, which I don't really need to see. And of course it offers to sell me Epson ink, which is probably, you know, if this printer wasn't $700, I would say that's the reason they made it. But at a $700 printer, I don't expect to get gouged on the ink too. All right, so it printed a nice little color page from the computer. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then I'm gonna print a photograph. Uh, now it's gonna do a firmware update. Okay, so <clears throat> there you have it. It's a picture I took when I was in Dallas. I ordered something from Amazon and picked it up at a 7-Eleven. So this looks fantastic and we're ready to go.